What did he say? In spring game rather than inclement weather, we changed up the script of the the whole thing to just be more accommodative to the players and making sure we're not risking injury. But it was uh, phenomenal. I'm amazed and just stoked, if that's the proper word, about the attendance and about the energy and electricity and even all of you. I'm, I'm so thankful that God led me in this direction. Now, uh, it's been confirmed, but the day was, was phenomenal. I'm really happy, appreciative, and thankful all in once. Let's do it. Hey, Coach Mick Miller, Fox 31. My man. How you doing? Yeah, good, sir. Well, obviously, today was a big day, not only for you, the program, but yes. how, how were you in your health throughout this one, um, just being out there coaching and getting out there? Just how was your health throughout this one? I like when you guys play like you care about my health, then I get to the real questions. I'm <laughs> no, I'm good. I mean, uh, we're trying to come up with something phenomenal inside uh, of my shoe game and the shoes that's being built for me to make sure I could get to the four through the fourth quarter. So we're on a, we we're having a good start. I just left the training room getting getting taken care of, but uh, I'm okay. It's not about me though, man. As long as these kids are okay, I think we sustained maybe one injury today, which is good. I'm, they're gonna give me a report because I'm always prayerful about these kids and these young men being injured and going on to the next level, whatever they desire. So um, I think we got out of there okay injury wise. But I'm okay. Thank you so much. Hi, Coach. Adam Moser Tiger, 24-7 Sports. Mm -hmm. Wanted to get your evaluation of Peggy in, in that moment. Peggy Ball. Peggy was the MVP of the game. Um, she was quick. Her first step was unbelievable. Um, she was very physical when she grabbed me and made sure I held her arm. Um, timely. She made a big play. And uh, her kickoff was phenomenal. Went through the uprights and everything. So. I'm glad. Uh, she is just a breath of fresh air, and just she just breathes life into everyone that comes close to her. She's a she's a godsend, man. She is undamn believable. But I'm glad uh, Rick took me over to the crib that one day, and we had a a little brunch or lunch with her. And I know she she had these pecans that were unbelievable. That she sent me a a bag of them, man. They were like glazed or caramelized or something, and I was just killing those things and she and she remembered that but she's a she's a gift from god i'm, a, I'm very appreciate appreciative that we were able to do that for her give her a moment she deserves it ariel orsudo nine news uh coach this game this sold out game had more fans than the past nine spring games uh -huh. can you just talk to the atmosphere here what it was like and what really the effect of the prime effect has been well, like for all this time? Um, Ari, I, I can't really talk about the effect. That's, a, that's on you guys to talk about that. I was, I was amazed. I, 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 I didn't know that it would be like that, but the energy, um, just walking out the locker room with the, with the team, it was unbelievable. It was a moment. It was one of those moments that you would never forget. It was one of those moments that was something to behold, like you had to be there. You had to be there. A couple of our GAs that was on either side of me, they were our GAs in Jackson as well. So just lining up in the tunnel, getting ready and feeling it, and, and then our song comes on, and, and here we go. And we're running out there. It was unbelievable. Even with the weather, it was unbelievable. I was just – I'm always thinking way down the street. So I'm thinking – Recruiting, you know, I'm thinking, okay, national TV is showing snow in the spring. That's not good. But, you know, but everybody, <laughs> people use that recruit against us. But with the fan base and everybody that was there, I'm pretty sure they said, hey, man, this is all right. But then it's going to be 50 tomorrow. That That's the thing that upsets me, 50 degrees tomorrow. And I can't wait to, to send everybody in the country over, over social a picture of the field tomorrow in the sky, in the backdrop. Hey, Coach Prime, uh, Pat Graham, Associated Press. Uh, it was a lot of fun to watch today. I guess my question would be, what do you think of the product on the field, that you had a eagle eye view of that thing? Um, we're playing against us. So, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to measure. I was looking for certain people to do certain things, and the certain people that I was looking for to do certain things, they did those things really, really well. 
and uh, some things, uh, special teams, as far as the extra point field goal, that was horrible. I mean, that was hot garbage. So I, I get tired of that. I ain't want to see that anymore. So I didn't even let them kick um, towards the second in the second half, except for the one that being blocked. Uh, two scooping scores darn there was is, is that is uncalled for. I understand it will be a lot of product that we're going to get in that won't be out there. But still, whatever you do. Do it with all your might and do it with a commitment to excellence. And we didn't do that um, on that particular special teams. But other than that, I think they, they competed. I was happy. I told them I, I loved them. I was proud of them. They, everybody competed. And everybody got opportunity. I don't think it's not one kid that didn't play or didn't get an opportunity to make a play. So I'm happy with that. Hi, Coach. How you doing? Good, Ario. Good. Nikki Edwards, TV Sports Report. You had 70 recruits here for this weekend. That's all? <laughs> because the uh, flight, some flights got canceled. That's why it was yeah. just seventy. Um, when you got to sit down with all of them, what was your message to them, and what do you want them to leave Boulder with? Um, you got to understand, a lot of coaches attack it differently. Oftentimes, the kid is holding all the cards, and you're trying to see if he's going to choose you. We're trying to see if we really want him. Because it's a certain standard that we have. I mean, it's a certain. When I talk about smart, tough, fast, discipline with character, I'm not playing. I'm serious about that. So we're recruiting one another. So these young men that are coming with family members and mothers and fathers and siblings and all that, it's, it's, it's interesting, the, the thought process. I have several questions, poignant questions that I ask every last one of them, and I want to know those responses. So... This whole thing is, is, is a somewhat different, and some people approach it differently. I have a certain approach, and, and, and I don't fluctuate from that. And I want what I want, and I'm going to get what I want. And I'm not going to – what's the word? Give me a word, somebody. Compromise. compromise. You go, girl. I'm not going to compromise my thoughts in any of that. I'm going to stand for what I believe, and we're going to get them. Great question. Hey, yes, coach. sir. Brandon Cristal from KOA, your radio partner. And when you played, it was a big deal when John Madden would show up. Uh -huh. And I know that college football didn't necessarily have that. And it was Chris Fowler, not Chris and Herbie together. But when Chris is here and the idea that game day will hopefully be here, do yes. your kids feel that? And how excited are you about the idea that Chris, he said he wants to come call a Saturday night game. I don't know if the kids understand the history. I don't, I don't know if the kids understand this Chris Fowler is RG3 and the crew. I mean, come on. Like, I don't think they get that. Because a lot of these kids aren't historians. I mean, bringing uh, Chris and Michael Westbrook and Cordell and some of the other former greats, they don't even know them. Like, and that, that's bothersome to me. Like, you at least walk down the corridor and, and Google somebody. You're Googling every girl you see on campus, so you might as well <laughs> Google the guys that, that's made a way for you. So, but those guys are legends, and uh, it was big to me. I mean, seeing Chris Fowler in the weight room rocking out doing pull-ups, I mean, that was unbelievable. And just RG3, what they represent and what that crew represents. And I'm glad we had the opportunity to perform in front of them. That Coach, was good. Coach Brian Howell from the Bowl of Daily Camera. Uh, I know this is just one step in the, your off-season process. So yes. what does it look like now that spring ball is over? What's the next process? Well, this is the genesis of the, of the, the new era, the new thing. This was the genesis. This was the beginning of, of, of everything. The, to the direction that we go right now. You all know that uh, we're going to move on from, from some some of the team members and we're going to reload and, and get some kids that we really identify with. So it, it's, this process is going to be uh, quick. It's going to be fast, but uh, we're going to get it done. I think I'm meeting, I don't know how many darn kids and families I got to meet after this, but they're waiting for me to get up there and we go roll. <clears throat> but I love it. I love every darn minute of it. I, I, I mean, I love it. I love – I, I told you I sat in three seats. That's what y'all don't get. I sat in all three seats. What do you mean by that, Coach Prime? I'm glad you asked. I was the kid that was recruited. I was the parent sitting by the kid when my sons were recruited. Now I'm the coach recruiting the kid and talking to the parent and telling them the God honest truth with no game, no game whatsoever, straight up. Yes. Coach Sean Keeler at the Denver Post got a two-parter. First, just for, to clarify your uh, opening statement there, whose idea was the Peggy kick? Was that yours? Of course. Okay. What did she say when you at, told you wanted to do it? She was uh, thankful and appreciative. She really was. 
she she she's hilarious. I mean, the little quick comments that she may have is is that that's out there is, is unbelievable. I'm pretty sure they caught it in my mic, but she's uh she's fun, man. She's good. Uh, I wish to God I I just want to make it that far and have the same smile and energy and love and zest for life as she does. I really do. Second part, what was your reaction when you found out Ralphie would not run because of the snow? Um, I didn't know that was the reason why. I just asked. I said, aren't I supposed to go out after Ralphie? And they say Ralphie uh, wasn't running today. I said, cool, let's go do this. Yeah, it was, you know. Oh, you guys had a sick day. Ralphie needs one too. <laughs> and you weren't even sick. You weren't even sick when you called in. Hey, Coach Prime, Jake Schwan, it's DMVR. Just curious your thoughts on how Shador and all the rest of the quarterbacks played today. Um, I think they fared well. Did we, uh, we didn't throw any interceptions, right? I don't believe we threw the ball to the other team. So that's a plus. That's always a plus. They got the ball down the field. Some was tougher than others. Of course, when you're going against the ones defense, that's a little tougher, especially with uh, receivers that might not be able to get open against some of those guys. I don't think – I think one ball was thrown to Travis at the end, right? A little pick route on a, on a corner route, on um, a three by one, and they got him on that. But that was it. So it's 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 kind of hard. It guy takes one side of the darn field. You got to notice that kind of stuff. But I, I I'm happy with their productivity. Um, of course, we need to find uh, some people that can step up and and, and do some things, the, the type of things that we're expecting Shador to do as well. Uh, Coach Prime, Romy Bean, CBS Colorado. Uh, before the game, I was talking to Michael Westbrook, and he said he's talked to this team yes. uh, several years ago, and he said mm -hmm. the reaction was just blank faces. He said he was talking to these guys yesterday, and, man, they were in it, they were into it. What is your perception of how they've received some of these alumni and what they're saying? Well, you got to understand the coaches, we're not forcing it on them, but we're allowing them to understand what these guys represented. Maybe the explanation of these young men that uh, precedes them coming, it's, it's phenomenal and it, it's, it's noteworthy when they know the, uh, when I'm able to tell them this is one of the toughest receivers I ever played against and he was a dog, he was a killer, he was like, he was that dude. You don't want to mess with him. If you bump him, you better be strong and physical and fast because he was so aggressive. I mean, when you're able to tee that up that way, then introduce him. It's, it's everybody's attention. You got everybody's attention. And some of the guys that come from the past, I mean, first of all, I apologize to them from, I don't know if it was with mistreatment of, or just dissatisfaction for them not coming back for years, but I'm thankful and happy. I just want to rekindle the, the, the fire and the passion that they had for the university and let's keep it going because the more those guys are around, I'm happy, I'm enthused. And uh, they just bring something to the table when they come, especially when uh, uh, they're allowed to speak to the team in some capacity. That's a plus for us, that's a win-win for us. And it's a win-win for them too because they have so much inside of them, they just take it at home into the crib and not being able to do nothing with it. Well, Michael Westbrook uh, was phenomenal. His, his talk to the team, Cordell, has been phenomenal all week. He, he's been, and so many of these guys have, they've they just been a blessing. They've been a blessing to the program. And I'm thankful and I'm happy to see him back. I've seen some greats. I mean some greats. Even seeing Chauncey a couple weeks ago. That shoot, Chauncey Billups, man. That's a dog. Like that's a that he could play football. He told me he played quarterback and linebacker, you know, back in the day. And I could tell because he's a born leader and he's a dog. But that's a that's a blessing for me to meet Chauncey Billups, man. That that made my day. Let's let's do a couple more. I got time today. Coach Prime, Lynn Harrington with Stay Alive and Power Five. How you doing? Good. That's good here. So the past couple of weeks, it kind of been like a lot of players transferring out like at an alarming rate. But mm -hmm. is that a testament to you, you know, switching out your Louis bags for the Walmart bags? I didn't kick them out. They walked out. Do you expect more players to come after this whole recruiting process in the spring game? We got to make some decisions. That's going to be on me now. That was on them. Now it's on me. So, you know. Anybody, time someone quits uh, a few days before the spring game, that should tell you a lot. God bless them, though. I mean, the thing about it, I have no disdain or whatever. If they called me to speak on their behalf for a coach, I would do so. I'm not going to lie, but I would do so. So, God bless them. We don't look behind us, man. We look ahead. 
Jimmy Sierfos, 247 Sports. With this game over, looking back on the spring, how do you feel about the progress you all have made? This a season? lot of progress. Um, the, uh, Coach Lewis, uh, Coach Kelly, they got a lot done this spring. Trevor as well, special teams-wise. They got a lot done, a lot implemented, a lot of thoughts, a, a, a lot of this direction, that direction. Uh, um, this is, I think, Shador alone, this is his third scheme in three years. You got to understand that. This is his third different scheme in three years. So that that's alarming. But these kids, these young men have picked it up quickly, expeditiously. That's why we're trying to find smart, tough, fast, and disciplined players so they can retain these things and, and, and play fast like we desire them to play. Those are the type of guys that we're going to get and we got right now. Hey, Coach, Victor Gordon, American Football 365 out of ATL. So you got animated a couple times. What's your overall grade for the team today? Say that again. You got a little animated today. What's your overall grade? Well, I get game? animated when somebody's not hustling. I only get upset when somebody's not giving it their all. I mean, that if it's an effort play, it's an effort play. It's hard to get mad if somebody's giving their ultimate effort. But when somebody's lollygagging or somebody then making it on the field and, and there's a penalty and just, we're just doing stupid stuff, it's stupid stuff. Overall, I, I, it was good. It was good. The players that I expected to perform, they performed. And it was good. A couple more, guys. Hey, Coach Prime, how are you? Mike with KUNC Radio. Um, just want to talk about the alumni that came back for today's game. Do you think we might see that same type of uh, camaraderie when the season opener comes in September? I would hope so. Because this was a, a welcoming and a, a, kind of like a recommitment to the program. And uh, we honored them. We, 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 we gave them their flowers and their roses that they deserve. They shaped this. They built this. I mean, they established this, man. So how can you not embrace them and give them love and the respect and honor that they deserve? Um, we wouldn't have memories if it wasn't for them. So I, I, I love it 100%. I mean, Cordell's been with me. I pick him up every morning. He's been with me every minute of the day. I'm just seeing, shoot, Michael Westbrook, come on, man. I played with him with the Redskins. I know who he is, what he is, how he is. And, 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 and you got two Thorpe trophies down there. We got during that every trophy represented. By the way, speaking of that, uh, Michael Westbrook won an award his senior year, right? What did he win? Best receiver, right? Belinda Cole, right? What? Huh? Okay, SP for the best. He won an award, a receiver's award. What was it? Come on, historians. He, what did he say? <laughs> no, ain't nobody got no answer now. He, he won an award his senior year for one of the best receivers in college football. I just need to know Paul Warfield. So you got something to give Westbrook or Paul Warfield because it's not down that aisle, and I need to see it. If I have to buy it and establish it and build it, I need to see it. You'd have got thrown out of my meeting, Jan, if that was it. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm serious. Why isn't it down? Why? Is it, why? Okay, I'm going to buy one. Somebody send me a picture of the Paul Warfield trophy so we can put it up there because he should have his trophy there. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm dead serious, too. Dead serious. Last one. Hey, Coach. It's, uh, yes. my, uh, how you doing? My name is Salim, photographer from New Jersey. Uh, great, great outing today, great game. Uh, there's a very interesting ex expression called making a difference that makes a difference. Like that. Right? So it's not just an individual person that made a difference, but they made a difference so that it rippled. What difference have you been starting to notice in these young men in so, up to date so far that it's really touching them, the impact that your leadership and, and uh, other coaches as well in the school and, and the entire organization. Well, they understand where my faith is. They understand where I stand, and I don't fluctuate from that. Um, they understand that I'm no nonsense, and I'm not dealing with the foolishness and the stupidity and the ignorance in adolescence. I'm not doing that. We gonna, if you want to be treated like a man, act like a darn man. And uh, we understand there's a progress, there's a process of, of being that, but we're giving them steps. We have several and a multitude of navigational systems for them to follow, which is men that have been there and done that. Uh, when you have a guy like Cordell walking around that is, a, that, that is, I mean, embodied this during university, walk up to him and ask him why and how. Just, 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 just drill him for information, and that's what we want. That coaching staff that we have, you guys take it for granted, they're really good. They're really good. They've coached a lot of football. They've forgotten more football than some know in this room. 
So you got to take advantage of that. So we're trying our best to just build and the, the develop and the mentor in, and to provoke change in every area, not just the football field, everywhere. I, I love the uh, diversity in this room. I'm, I'm pretty sure it has changed from a year ago. Now, I'm, I'm not talking about just white and black. I'm talking about we have some wonderful female reporters that are doing the doggone thing, and I'm proud of y'all. And y'all keep going, and you keep doing your thing. But we have so much diversity, so much more to do and more to give and, and a ways to go. And I'm a change agent. And I return anything I touch. It has no other possibilities but to change. Because that's what we do. God bless y'all.